Uh, just a quick word coming in from Neelkant Mishra, who is the Managing Director at the India Equity Strategist at Credit Suisse. He expects F518 earnings growth at 10 to 12 percent. Listen in. F517, I think, is too volatile. I mean, I think it is now 8 percent or so. But I, I would say that uh, F518 is a tricky one, uh, where we are about 4 percent below consensus when we do bottom-up numbers. And I think some of our numbers also uh, need to be brought down. So I would say maybe settle at 10-12% uh, uh, growth. I think we, yeah, because see we have to understand that the headline indices may not do that badly, uh, uh, while the Indian economy uh, uh, may be uh, may do worse than what the market currently expects. The headline indices are also there is the global growth angle there. So I would say uh, uh, you know 10-12% growth for now. So this is a call we've had even before demonetization, and I think uh, this this only supports what has happened in the last two months only supports that call and uh, in that we had highlighted that you know there's a whole screen we put out on the list of stocks where interest cost to EBITDA ratio is very high and the metal names feature very highly up there. There are significant distortions in the data that we have seen all the high frequency indicators one I think are too narrow uh, they don't reflect what really happened in the informal economy and the kind of disruption that we saw there. The numbers in November and December are definitely distorted, meaning uh, some people have attempted to launder their cash through uh, you know, backdated invoices, some have tried to launder it through paying service tax, um, and therefore service tax collections were up 44% in, in November. Uh, and and uh, there have been other distortions like, you know, November sales for cars were weak, but then December sales were very strong and people are saying, well, things have normalized. I think it's too early to say that.